Hello and welcome to all coffee lovers out there. Today is another coffee day. I am going to share with you five delicious recipes using cold brew coffee. For those of you wishing to start your own business at home, setting up a coffee cart or simply just a small window in your house to start selling cold brew coffee, this is the video to watch. Please click like and also leave some comments for the YouTube algorithm to work better and make this video accessible to more people. The more likes, subscribes and comments I get, the more video tutorials I can share with you. For today, I am going to talk about five different recipes using cold brew. For those that want to do this at home, they are easy enough to follow. For those who want to start their own business at home, this is the best option. Very low investment, very easy to make and the drinks are absolutely delicious. You do not need to use coffee machine, Nespresso or anything like that. All you need is a pitcher, put your coffee, add water and then refrigerate overnight. Well, you need a refrigerator. For the coffee, it is important to select the best coffee that you can find or the coffee that you like and then use that to cold brew. The success of cold brew coffee depends on how good your coffee is. If you would like to find out more about cold brew, check out the video above. Today, I am going to use local coffee, Thai Hill Tribe coffee. Let's start by making our cold brew. I'm just going to use a simple or any pitcher will do. I'm going to use half a liter of water. Now, because I'm only making half a liter, I'm going to use 50 grams. But if you're making this in batch, you can multiply as many times as you would like. Now for the water, because I would like to make half a liter, I'm making it slightly more than half a liter. And into the pitcher, we pour the water. And that's all you really need for your cold brew. Now give this a little bit of a stir and then cover it and put it in the refrigerator overnight. So that is your cold brew coffee. Now, I'm not going to wait overnight. So here is my finished cold brew coffee. But let's start making our five delicious drinks. We'll start by making ice cold brew Americano. First, pour ice in your cup. And here is our cup full of ice. For ice Americano, all we need is water and coffee. If you'd like to make it a bit sweeter, you may add sugar syrup. For this, I'm going to use 90 ml of water. Just pour the water into your cup. Okay, let it settle, shake it a little bit so that it blends with the ice and we are going to use 90 ml of cold brew. So into the cup, this is your ice Americano. One cup down, ice Americano. Next, we are going to make ice cold brew latte. What we need is 120 ml or one half cup of our cold brew into the cup. Give it a little bit of shake so that the ice settles. And then we are going to use 60 ml or two ounces of our milk syrup. Pour into the drink. Two down, one more to go. The third drink is ice cold brew mocha. With the same amount of coffee, 120 ml of coffee or one half cup. One ounce of milk syrup into the cup. I'm going to use my own homemade chocolate syrup and I need one ounce of chocolate syrup. For this, I am going to mix my chocolate syrup into my coffee. Give it a bit of a stir and then I am going to pour it into 
my cup of ice. So this is your ice cold brew mocha. Fourth, we are going to make ice cold brew caramel macchiato. Same way, I am going to use half a cup of coffee, 120 ml of coffee, into my cup full of ice. 1.5 ounce or 45 ml of my milk syrup, two pumps or 15 ml of my caramel. So that's 15 ml. So this is my caramel mix and I am going to pour it over my coffee. So this is my ice cold brew coffee caramel. Four drinks down, let's make our final drink. And finally, ice cold brew brown sugar latte. For the last drink, I am going to use brown sugar coffee. I'm using my own homemade brown sugar sauce here. Half a cup of cold brew coffee or 120 ml. Let's put it into my measuring cup. 1.5 ounce of milk syrup. So here I am going to mix my milk syrup with the coffee. and then I'm going to pour my brown sugar around the cup. And here is your brown sugar cold brew coffee. There you have it, five very simple recipes for cold brew coffee. This time, very simple coffee. I am using only the local Thai Hill Tribe coffee. Americano, let's give it a try. This one is sugar-free, so I'm not sure it's for me. Wow, so refreshing. Not even strong, it is lovely, delicious. You must give this a try. Latte? Mmm, delicious. Once again, no bitterness at all. This is quite mild because we, we added milk to the blend. So this is mocha. Once you give it a stare, look at how the color changes to that beautiful mocha brown. And it's time to give it a try. Wow, delicious. Cold brew caramel macchiato. Look at that beautiful, appetizing color. Cheers. Mm. Delicious. To die for this. And finally, cold brew brown sugar. Beautiful. So the brown sugar will settle at the bottom, so you must make sure you give it a stare. Mmm, delicious. This is a stronger coffee because we use less milk and we use brown sugar to change the taste of the coffee for the better. I suppose one question that everyone might be asking is how long can you keep your cold brew coffee? Without adding milk or sugar into the cold brew, you can keep your cold brew for up to two weeks. Well, that's all I have today. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video tutorial. Do give this recipe a try at home or in your milk tea and coffee shop and let me know how they go for you. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I will be showing another video tutorial on making the same five delicious recipes using espresso. So stay tuned. In the meantime, stay safe. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.